everybody, how's it going? It is Thursday, September the 27th, I believe. I am headed to Ridgely Middle School. Um, my friend, who is a teacher there, is having me come and speak to some of her students. I have a jam-packed day today, so it's gonna be excited to bring you guys along with me and uh, to see how the day progresses and see how everything goes. Um, so today, I've got the uh, presentation in my friend's school. I've got a, um, a meeting with my lawyering professor about my memo. Then I have a, uh, a Barbary 1L prep session that I have to do. And then I have a meeting for SGA. Then I have civil procedure class. Then I have a banquet to attend tonight. And I have readings to do for torts. So you guys will be here for all that. I look forward to having you guys come along with me for a busy Thursday in the life. So I don't usually eat breakfast in the morning time. Um, I just checked the time and I'm headed to the school a little bit early. So, you know, I thought an hour I'd be ready to go get some breakfast and then uh, make my way up there and do what I need to do at the school. Um, like I said before, on these long days, you really got to have like grace toward yourself. And you got to realize that, hey, you know, today's going to be a long day, but it's going to be a great day nevertheless. So um, I'm going to get me some breakfast head to the school, do what I got to do. I got some snacks in the back for the students. I always like to make sure I, I bring them something because, you know, a lot of people don't come and speak to students at the school. So uh, they look forward to it. And uh, why not end the day with some sweet snacks? So, yeah. <music> All right, guys, so I just made it to the school. It is around 8.45. Um, the session starts at 9, I think 10 or 9.15. But I'm going to go inside, see my friend, hang out a little bit, um, get ready. And uh, once I'm done, I got to roll out because I know that um, my meeting with my professor is at 11.30. And so I'm thinking if I leave here by around like 10, 15, 10, 20, I might have enough time to uh, run to Towson University, my undergraduate institution, which is about like maybe 10 minutes from here and say hello to a couple of uh, faculty members there. So uh, if I can't do that, that's fine. If I can, that'll be great. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I am not sure if I'm going to be able to record inside of the school. I know that um, this county has like certain restrictions in regards to that. So if I'm not able to get some feedback um, of my whole presentation, hopefully I'll be able to get like a couple of clips of me uh, giving the presentation to uh, some of the students. Um, but aside from that, um, I'll keep you guys posted and I'll talk to you guys later. That cost is high, so the Wright brothers put college on hold and worked it to give away more money in the future. But the brothers told me their dad inspired them to do what they can right now. All right, so we're just leaving the school. I am on my way to um, the University of Maryland. It's a great time. Had a great time with the students. And uh, now I'm about to just get started with the rest of my day. Let's do it. headed inside of the school right now this guy here on campus um i'm going to head to my meeting with my professor to go over my memo <sighs> and after that i have another meeting for sba then i have civil procedure and uh a table and event i have to go to for uh barbary and uh after that got like a little cocktail hour i'm gonna hit up and then from there i am going to study for my classes tomorrow. I already read for my classes tomorrow. Just got a review for uh, Friday. All right, so what's up everybody? I just got uh, finished my meeting with my uh, lawyering professor. He said that my memo was A-OK, -okay, good to go. And so I'm excited about that. Spent a lot of time working on it. Um, we have another assignment due next week. So I'm gonna start doing a little bit of work on that. And then from there, I'm going to um, 
go to this Barbary one hour um, tabling session. And then I've got to head to my meeting for SBA, like you guys already know. And after that, I'm hitting up civil procedure and getting this work done for my classes. So it's been a really good day. Um, trying to, you know, kind of like relax a little bit throughout the course of my day. Um, just having a good time, you know, going through the woes of school. You know, life is about people and uh, I love interacting with everybody. It's been really great. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, how's it going, everybody? My apologize for the delay with the content. There's been a lot going on. Um, so as you guys just saw, I went to my friend's school. We had a great time. Uh, the rest of the day, I just got back to campus and just did a little bit of uh, torts. Um, and then from there, I just had to uh, conduct a couple of writing center sessions and then um, just finish some studying and things of that nature. But right now, it's Saturday. Um, I have a uh, project, a research project that I'm working on for the uh, Baltimore um, Writing Center project, which is pretty cool. I've got two hours of that to do. Um, and then after that, I'm going to hit the library, probably study for about um, maybe two. No, who am I kidding? <laughs> I'll probably study for the next four or five hours, uh, get a good amount of work done so that um, when I come back, um, I can kind of have the evening to myself. I usually like to study from maybe like one to six or, you know, two to seven, um, just to get those hours in on the weekend. Um, aside from that, everything's been going well. Um, I have a lot of updates that I'm gonna give you all. Um, I'm gonna try to condense them all into this one video. I'm gonna start getting back with the vlogs um, on campus. It's just been a little bit busy. Um, but aside from that, everything's been really good. So first off, let's start with, um, my bout, if you may call it, um, in becoming the uh, 1D class president of our uh, 1L class. And so I have the pleasure to serve as the, uh, according to the constitution, as the uh, CEO of our class, which essentially means in the chain of command when um, reporting concerns to administration or to those within the school vicinity, uh, I am the liaison for that and I, uh, also work to organize events and uh, certain projects that we do within our class. And so, so far it's been really great. Uh, my team is incredible. Shout out to you all if you're watching this. And uh, we're just able to work to make sure that the students during our one, one a year are having the best time that they can. Um, last week, we just hosted a, um, a movie night. We have a candy gram coming up this week. We have a, a yoga session coming up within the next couple of weeks. And we have so many other cool events that are gonna be planned. Um, I've raised several concerns about things going on and it's just honestly it's just a really great time um, Second key point to talk about grades. So we got back our first grade for our first uh, writing assignment, which was uh, really really intense, but um, a lot of my classmates uh, Really were kind of perplexed with their grades. Um, I was satisfied with mine. Um, I think it reflected um, not only the work that I put in, but um, the feedback was um, very valuable. Um, and it was it was the grade I was expecting to get, which is why, you know, I'm, I'm pretty glad about that. But, you know, there's always room for improvement. We can always do better. And I'm definitely um, gunning for the next level um, and the next tier um, for the grade within the rubric. Um, aside from that, everything else has been going pretty good. Um, law school is what people say it is, you know, it's definitely fast paced. It's definitely a lot of work, uh, but it's manageable. It's manageable if you have a, a good schedule, if you're routine, and if you do those things that you need to do to be successful. Now, I know like my schedule is it's a lot different from many other people's schedule because, you know, I'm doing, you know, writing center stuff and then I'm the president of our class and, you know, I have to do all these external events and stuff like that. So I, I would say my plate is definitely full, but if you're coming in and you like, you're just a student and all you do is like go to class and like, if that's all you do, you should be fine. Um, the material is definitely dense. So you wanna make sure that you're being critical in what it is that you're doing in terms of your work, all right? You can't just get by by just like, pushing through one read, like, you know, it's not gonna work like that. Um, some readings you might have to do twice, 
uh, to remember. Sometimes you might have to read things over. It just it just happens sometimes, and you've got to know like your learning style and how you're going to be able to approach certain things um, when it comes to that. Um, I have a lot of textbooks. I'm kind of going to show you guys that a little bit too. I just kind of want to show you what my textbooks look like and what I have to bring to school. So this right here is my contracts textbook. Uh, not too big. Contract is basically a course that talks about um, legally enforceable promises and how you can go about um, entering into a contract, breach of contract, certain remedies um, for contractual relationships, things of that nature. It's a very interesting course. Uh, I like this class. Um, I took a mock class for it over the summertime, which <laughs> thank God helped me so much. So I'm not really stressing out about it that much, but it's a really good course. Um, this right here is a godsend. It is the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure. I would implore everyone to get a copy of this. Uh, they have it online, but I, I feel as though the physical copy of the book makes it more interactive when you're in class and helps you to understand the rules of uh, uh, federal civil procedure. So I would definitely get one of those. And, and to my credit, I think that my professor of civil procedure is awesome. She's incredible. But out of all my classes, this, this is definitely the class that like, I don't want to say I struggle with, but this is a class where the discourse community is like totally different if you're not intertwined within the legal field. Like you're learning about things that are, are niche to the legal field. And if you don't have a background in it or have experience working in it, it might be, it's, it's very nuanced for you. And so um, this is the class where, you know, I always make sure that I'm, I'm intently doing the readings, intently listening to the lectures, uh, trying to go to office hours and doing the things you need to do to understand the material. Um, this is my textbook for it really good not too big which is great um yeah that class is pretty cool and this right here is my torch textbook um my torch professor wrote this book with a couple other professors as well uh i love my torch class it's very fun very exciting um fun story my torch professor every single year has a um a halloween event where he has students come in dressed up as a, a, a case that we've read within the classroom or anything relatively related to the law. And so on Tuesday, we're gonna be doing that. I'm not gonna tell you guys what I'm dressing up as, but I'm gonna try to vlog it so that you guys can see <laughs> the whole scheme that I have planned for Tuesday. <laughs> it's gonna be very interesting. Let's just say my professor who's been teaching for over 30 years is never gonna forget this. Um, aside from that, that's basically it. That's all my books. Um, I have like, of course, online copies of certain things. Um, I also have this like first year review guide by Themis. Uh, it's not too bad. I probably shouldn't be showing this cause I'm a Barbie rep, but, um, I use this sometimes. Uh, the Barbary outlines that I have are online. So I mainly use those because I can access them anywhere without carrying around a big old book. Um, I would recommend that you guys who are coming into law school figure out how you learn and which like method you utilize the best, I guess. And when I say how you learn, you know, are you better with handouts? Are you better with printed copies? Are you better with audio? Are you better with lectures? Are you better with certain visuals, manipulatives? Figure out how you learn so that when you're going through the law school process, it's not strenuous on you to try to get acclimated to an environment because you know how you learn. Now, when you get there, you're going to feel as though you don't know anything. Like every, everybody <laughs> struggles initially, all right? If they say they're not struggling, they're lying. <laughs> There's a certain level of struggle. It might be a different level of struggle, but everybody struggles initially. It's just like learning how to swim. You know, you have to struggle a bit and then you start to get into rhythm and pace and then you start to become a lot better at it, <laughs> i.e. life. And so I, I think that the best thing to help you learn how to manipulate law school better and go grow accustomed to the environment is to identify your learning style and to make sure that you're not comparing yourself to other people. Because once you compare yourself to other people, then you stop 
focusing on yourself. You're not focusing on the other person, right? You're looking at what it is that they're doing, what they're not doing, how you're doing, and in comparison to them, you're placing too much time on them when you should be placing all the time on yourself, all right? Law school is an environment where you need to be selfish uh, in terms of your academic um, achievements and in terms of focusing on your academics, but it's also important to make sure that uh, you're making friends, you're having fun, um, you're spending time with people, you're developing these relationships. Like these are, I can see why people say that you develop lifelong friends in law school because the experiences that we have in these settings, like in these classrooms, like they're un, they're, un, they're uncanny, they're uncommon to any other experiences you'll have anywhere else in life. Because you're going through probably the hardest thing in your life and you're with other people who likewise are going through the hardest things in their life. And you guys are, it's kind of like a struggle. I don't want to say trauma bond or struggle bond, but you guys are literally growing and learning together. You know, it's like, you know, I compare it to when I was on a wrestling team back in high school, you know, the practices were hell. We hated every single day, but we grew a strong, formidable bond together. And we, we learned and we grew and we were champions. And so I think that's the biggest thing, like making sure that you're reaching out to people, you're talking to people and that you're enjoying the time and enjoying the experience. I've got about 39, maybe 38 days until finals. Um, I'm going to drop a video about how I'm preparing for finals, how I do my finals. Um, none of my professors, well, my professors gave midterm exams and they were pass or fail. Um, obviously I passed, I passed them. <laughs> um, but some law schools give midterm exams. I'm not sure if they, you know, do or don't, um, at certain schools, but I do know at UMD Cary, we did not have uh, midterm exams for our first year. Um, aside from that though, I don't want to make this video too long, but if you have any, uh, topics you all want me to cover or questions or comments, just Drop it in the uh, comment section below. I'll talk about it. And uh, if you have any special requests for videos that you want me to do, let me know. I'll talk about it. Um, I'm thinking about doing a collab with my brother very soon, so stay on the loop for that. And aside from that, please have a great day, and I'll see you guys the next time.